Hi guys. Okay. So we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby. I need to get some fall decor um, or just kind of scope what's out here. I have literally no idea what I'm doing this year for fall. Part of me like wants to just keep my old stuff but the other part of me is like no let's do something completely different um i'm not really sure i mean i'm gonna just see what what's out here if, if i don't see anything that like really catches my eye this year or just gives me the vibe that i'm looking for i'm just gonna go ahead and dig out my fall stuff it's just buried away in the back of my storage closet and i totally forgot when i packed up my christmas stuff I wasn't thinking and I packed it up so tightly with my fall stuff so I have to unpack everything to get to my fall stuff like my Christmas it's all in one box so I don't want to do that so I'm like should I just spend maybe 50 60 bucks on fall decor it doesn't cost that much for me to decorate it's a small apartment so it, it may be like less than a hundred dollars um, the most expensive thing for me is always the wreath or the the garland I want to get garland that's like 30 or 40 bucks um, but outside of the garland just little knickknacks I get from cheap places and make them look nice so um, I did pick up something from Target's dollar section like last week it was like five dollars so um, I don't know but the most important thing for me is the garland I just want to get garland so I'm gonna look for that um, what else and plus I like to get this stuff now we're about to hit September they're gonna clear that out like all of that stuff's about to be cleared out by the end of September that's how it always is um, for fall so you know because they put everything out right in October for Christmas so like yeah so pretty much that's how it was last year so if you wasn't getting that stuff early last year you were we're going in Hobby Lobby All right guys, so it is so hot outside. My goodness, it feels like a gazillion degrees. I got a bunch of stuff. Um, I stayed on budget, did not go over. Um, I just need some napkins now. I'm looking for like navy blue napkins. I really want navy blue. Um, so the vibe that I saw in there was like, I really wanna go for like the rose golds, navy blues, whites. We'll see. I, I'm somebody who has just kind of play around with stuff to see how I like it. Um, I love doing natural flowers as a centerpiece, but for fall, it's just kind of unrealistic. Um, so we're going to just go with some fa like fake flowers. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going with the rose gold, navy blue, and white vibe. I feel like that just really caught my eye, and it's what I want to do. I may, I was thinking in the house, I mean, I was thinking while I was in Hobby Lobby and I'm like, I might break out some of my boxes and take out my old stuff, but I feel like it doesn't go with that vibe. So I don't know, but let's go. I wanna run across the street to home. Hey, All right, so I just got done filming a ton of content for my other YouTube channel and just, you know, this channel. Um, so this is part of the vlog. You'll see this in my vlog. Uh, I'm gonna just make some of this Trader Joe's Mandarin chicken real fast. I wanna show you guys how I make it. So I make it in the air fryer and then after it's done, I add the packets in a saucepan and cook them in the sauce. So I'm gonna do this real quick. It's crazy thundering outside. We have like a total storm going on right now. Um, so I was like, let me hurry up and do this before 
my, uh, let's move this. There we go. So I was like, let me do this before it gets crazy out there. Cause I don't know if, if I'm gonna lose electricity or what. God willing, I don't. So let's do that real fast. I unfortunately have electric stove. So if that does happen, your girl gonna be eating some cold cut. So I do like to make the Trader Joe's um, chicken fried rice. Goodness, don't mind all the noise, you guys. I'm gonna use this pan. You guys love this pan. Well, you do on TikTok. I made my Alfredo in this pan. Everybody's like, oh my gosh. Um, I got that from Big Lots. I don't even remember who it's by. I think Musa. I think Musa, yeah. So when I make, um, look at my hair, y'all. When I make this Trader Joe's rice, I put a little sesame oil in it. And yeah, just, just a little sesame oil. And my, um, let me see, where can I put this? Oh, this is like perfect. Let's turn on the light. Can you guys see what we're doing here? Okay, so I put a little sesame oil in the pan. And here is the finished product. Got our chicken and fried rice. Hey guys, so before I go to bed, I wanted to show you guys my skin because it has cleared up a lot since I've been using the Shea Natural. Um, this is cold, Woo, just took it out the freezer. <laughs> Since I've been using the Shea Natural skincare products, um, my face has cleared up a lot. Not fully, um, but I'm really down to the very last of the bar. Like I probably have maybe two more weeks left of using this bar. So I would say I've had it for about a month now and I really like it. I'd never used the soap before. I had always just used the smoothie. Um, but you can see overall that my skin is clearing up. I do have still have a couple spots. Um, you know, just little dark spots. But they're way better than what they were when I first started using it. So, I mean, I guess you just have to use it consistently. Everybody's different. Um, but yeah, I really, really like it. If you're wondering about this roller, I'll link it down below. Uh, my sister gave it to me for Christmas, I think, or my birthday, one of these holidays. Um, and I know that it exists on Amazon because I've seen it. I have so much footage, you guys. <laughs> I can make so many vlogs. Like, I have weeks of footage that I need to edit into a couple different vlogs just to get some content up um, on my regular channel. I'm gonna film some content for the Influencer Collaborative very very soon i'll probably film it tomorrow actually um i went to brunch today with my friend i'll put some clips from my phone i just honestly am the worst vlogger when it comes to stuff like that like i'd be forgetting to just vlog that stuff i do have some footage from new york city um but not very much i just unless i deliberately have to vlog about something like in terms of like me going out, I usually don't. I usually like to live in the moment and just enjoy dinner or breakfast or brunch or whatever I'm going to. And I don't like to put cameras in people's faces who aren't used to it. And my one friend that I went out today, I've just never done that with her. So I don't wanna like force her to be on my YouTube channel unless she wants to. I've never really asked her though. But I mean, maybe I'll ask her for our next brunch. But we just kind of like get talking and we catch up and we just have like a nice little catch up sesh. So I feel like nobody wants a camera in their face for that. 
So yeah, I don't film everything, but I do film like when I hang out with my siblings because my sisters know about YouTube, so they don't care. And like my two best friends, they don't care because they know I'm a YouTuber. But everyone else, I just don't put a camera in their face because you just never know. So I think we're good. Skin nice and tight. I'm going to put my moisturizer on and then I'm going to read my Bible and go to bed and then edit and film tomorrow. So I will talk to you guys in the next vlog. Bye.